Hello and welcome to GrassiMath.com where math is for everyone. Today we'll be solving question 4 from the 2018 Algebra Star using the TI Inspire calculator. So let's get started. Okay, so which statement about the graph of y equals, okay, so that is an equation and I'm going to circle that because that usually means that I can work inside my TI Inspire. Okay, uh, the graph includes a point Okay, so that we can check in the TI Inspire using a thing called trace. The coordinates of the y-intercept. Okay, so here we, need, we have vocabulary, the y-intercept. Uh, a y-intercept is basically like this. I'm going to make a little sample graph here. Now this graph, I just happen to know, <laughs> uh, is probably going to look something like this. So let me make it with, uh, I don't know, green. Okay. This graph is going to look something like this, going up into the sky. And basically what it's telling us is, uh, okay, or actually what would be better, we'll put it like this. Okay, so this graph should have, an exponential graph goes up like this. and we can see that this point right here, the blue point, would be called the y-intercept. And this blue point right here would be called the x-intercept. Okay, so if I'm looking for the x and the y-intercept, I'm going to try to find where does it cross the x, where does it cross the y. Okay, so x and y. Okay. Next, uh, I'm going to take a look at the equation of the asymptote. Okay, so an asymptote is like this green line would continue and continue and continue and continue forever. And the, the asymptote, I'll draw with purple. Imagine that this green line was a plane taking off from a runway. Okay, well, the runway is called the asymptote. Okay. So that green line right there, the line that it approaches and approaches and approaches, it never actually touches that line. But that, that is called an asymptote. Okay? So an asymptote, guys, in, in mathematics is a line that the graph never touches. It just gets closer and closer and closer and closer and closer forever and ever, and it never touches it. But uh, the way that I like to remember it is, oh, well, if this was a plane, uh, where's the runway? And that, that helps you find the asymptote. Okay, so that purple line would be an asymptote. Anyway, let's graph this thing up. So most of these questions we can answer by looking at a graph, or actually all of these questions we can answer by looking at a graph. And in the TI Inspire, we're going to do a strategy called GR, which is how we graph. The G stands for graph, so I just press Control N, and I press No. And the letter G stands for the word graph, so that's option two. So we get rid of the graphing. Now we put delete, and you can see that the letter R stands for the number six, which is relation. R is the first letter of relation. We get rid of the R. Okay, now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna copy. Y equals two times 0 0.7 parentheses to the X power. Actually, let me show that zoomed in a little. You can see that what I've started to do here is to copy the equation from the red box up there in the word problem into the calculator box right here. And the thing that I wanted to stop to show you is how do I get the exponent? How do I get the x up there? Well, I'm going to press this little caret button right here on the side. This little button that's turning red right now. There you go. And once I press it, whoops, I pressed it twice by mistake. Whoa, I'm making a mess here. Let me erase that. Okay, Wendy, when you do it, you're only going to press it once, not like me. Press it once, and there you go. And now the letter X goes inside there, and there's your exponent. Now I'm going to add 6, and there we go. Now I have a perfect copy of the equation from my original question. So again, this equation right here got copied into the calculator, and we press Enter. Okay. I can't really see it too well, but what I can do is click anywhere on the page and just kind of move the graph, and there you go. Okay, so now I can see really well. 
Okay, so the first thing I can obviously see is the y-intercept. Well, how can I check that in the TI Inspire? Very simple. I'm just going to put menu 5, 1, and it will automatically take me to the y, uh, or, oh, I guess it didn't. Well, let's go looking for it. We're going to go clicking it, clicking it back until we hit the y-intercept. Ah, there we go, y-intercept, 0 and 8, 0 and 8. And you can see that when I clicked it over there, it actually told me, hey, that's the y-intercept. You can see the calculator tells you right there in that yellow box, the calculator tells you, hey, that's the y-intercept. And what numbers is it showing me down here? 0 and 8. And look, in the problem, it says the y-intercept is 0 and 6. So that is out. Okay. All right. Now we can check this point, 8 and 40.54. Okay, so let's press... For, to check a point, you need to push enter and escape. Okay, so you trace and then you press enter escape. And now I have a little ordered pair here and I can do, so let me do that one more time. Menu, five, one, enter, escape. And that's how I get the little ordered pair. In here, I have the number zero, but in my problem, it has a negative 8. So I need to change this to a negative 8. Negative 8 made 40.7, 40.54. Okay. Mm, not that close. I mean 40.5, 40.7. I don't like it too much. Let's let's put a little question mark next to that one. Maybe we can say we can use it if we run out of answer choices. Okay. The coordinates of the x-intercept are negative 3 and 0. So it's at that point, guys, the reason I'm keeping it is because it's close, but it's not that close. I mean, it's like off by a whole tenth of a number there. So let's, let's see. The coordinates of the x-intercept. Well, what can I see here? I can see that this graph just keeps on going forever and ever and ever. And I'm going to check. Remember, I said the graph can never pass that purple line. That's like a border right there. It can never cross. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is try to graph that second line. So let's graph x equals 6 and see what happens. Okay, the equation of the asymptote is x equals 6. Does that look like the runway? No, it does not. Okay, uh, it should be a horizontal line, first of all, and this is a vertical line. Now, if you're interested in seeing, there's a video on my channel about uh, graphing a horizontal line and you can just search that up but here we go we have x equals 6 we graphed it and that does not look anything like my purple line it would have to be horizontal so I'm gonna cross it off okay the x-intercept well I can see that this line appears to be getting flatter and flatter and flatter and flatter and flatter and so the runway for this line the asymptote must be right here right where I'm showing you with my thing there. Uh, let's try putting in, what number might that be actually? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I can see that it's getting closer and closer and closer to the number six, but it's not actually crossing it. So therefore, does this graph have an x-intercept? No, it does not, because it's not crossing the x, and it never will. It's just gonna keep going and going and going and going, and you can see it's flat, it's not changing. It's just going to keep on going. And therefore, I can tell that it is not going to cross the x-intercept. Okay. So that means that I'll go back and choose that choice that we question marked before choice A. In a way, I'm kind of glad that that happened because now you can see one important thing that I always tell students, which is calculators estimate. Okay. So 40.7, and here on the star, it said 40.54. Well, 40.7 is really close to 40.54. So should I keep it, should I not keep it? Well, I can check my other my other choices, and then I can decide, well, it was super close, so I should probably choose it, okay? But first, you should check to make sure. And you can see, once again, an x-intercept, that was the other one that we just seemed to be stuck on there, the x-intercept, is it on negative three and zero? Is that where the graph is crossing? One, two, three, negative three and zero? Is that where the graph crosses the x? No, it's definitely not. So this graph doesn't even have an x-intercept, let alone negative 3 and 0, okay? And we checked the y-intercept, and it was not 0 and 6. 
So that means this was out, this was out. We graphed this one, that one was out. So choice A was our final answer. All right, well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and to click the bell icon. And of course, to visit the website where math is for everyone, www.grossymath.com. Have a great day.